a Ben native is helping honor her daughter Riley at the Rose Bowl Parade next Monday. The little girl succumbed to infant botulism at less than four months old. Riley's parents donated her organs, saving lives. Kelsey McGee has more on Riley's parents and what they're doing to honor her. There are over 100,000 people on the transplant waiting list, and 17 people die every day waiting for a transplant. Thanks to her parents' actions, Riley's donated organs saved three lives. Now her family is honoring her in a very special way. Riley passed away from infant botulism, and we actually didn't even find that out until about two weeks after she had passed away. Autumn told Jackson is a Ben native, a 2002 Ben Senior High graduate, and is now a Burns resident. Autumn and her husband Kyle donated Riley's organs to bring new life and hope to others. Even though she was only three and a half months old, she was able to donate her heart, her liver, and her kidneys and save three lives. Riley's heart was given to a little boy, her liver to a little girl, and her kidneys to a woman in her 60s. Two of the sponsors of the Donate Life Float are the group's student organization Donation Advocates and Growing with Grief. They both fundraise to become sponsors. Up to eight organs can be donated per individual and up to 125 skin tissue and other types of samples uh, may be donated. Donate Life is a national nonprofit dedicated to saving lives by increasing the number of organs, eyes, and tissues donated. Direct Life's executive director, Jackie Wurz, paints a picture of the float. Now, the fluorograph is a visual representation of Riley made out of living floral bits that are put together on that float for the Rose Parade. The process of organ donation and knowing that our little girl was able to save three additional lives really helped us in our own grief. At the parade, there will be a brunch and a New Year's Eve celebration where the donor recipients and families can meet and catch up. Autumn will also be helping to build the float. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.